Namaste. Hi. Do you ever find yourself having no space to practice? Space has become an issue. For example, you travel a lot and there's no room for you to practice. Yeah? All you have is your bedside, for example. Or if your house suddenly gets too busy and your practice space is occupied. It shouldn't be a problem at all. There are tiny space such as this inside your hotel room or at your bedside at home. It's also a good preparation for meditation. This is how I prepare for my stillness and silence. So let's do that. Yeah? Sitting tall. For a moment, uh, channel your awareness to your breath. Consciously breathing in through your nose. And now through your nose. Let me set the intention for this practice. We're going to lightly open the body, allow the energetic pathways to become open and free of stagnation. And we will try to calm and relax the nervous system. One more conscious breath in. And relaxing breath out. And next inhalation, lightly bring the eyes open. And send your arms really high and low, spreading your fingers wide, spreading the hands and feel the stretch, yeah, the palm stretch, and lightly yeah, rotate the arm bones externally to so the biceps yeah, towards your head, and then rise the arm bone side. Yeah, shift your weight back a bit. All right, breathing in, and then there we hold it for four. Keep the length, three, two, one. Good, exhale, palms face in front. And let your hands fall you know, slowly. Good, and then breathing in, rise the arms again. Exhale, lower the arms down. Breathing in. And breathing out right. and then just lace the fingers press the palms up right. most of this is side stretches yeah opening the right and the left channels of our energetic system and then we will open the shishunga later on with the symmetrical position but for now let's stretch both sides right release your right hand to the floor yeah. breathing in open the left side and as you exhale, soften the right side. Right, breathing in, center. Exhale, relax the hands. Right, lacing the fingers, breathing in, stretching the palms, stretching the hands. Good. We have so many energetic channels. In our hands, that by stretching the fingers, stretching the hands, we open them. Good. And exhale, twist to the left hand side. Up to you. If, for example, you find one side is tighter, you can hold the stretch longer here. Right? Good. Remain with the twist. Breathing in. Open the left arm. On your exhalation, loosen your right shoulder. Right, left arm hugs across, yeah. and then hands to the opposite knee. And just allow your hips to adjust. Now breathing in, opening up the throat. And as ex exhale, fold the fronts of the body. You know, pull back a bit and lifting uh, the backs of the neck away from the chest. We're accessing the inner core here. Good. 
sending the breath to the backs of your body, opening the shoulder blades apart. Energizing the kidneys below your lungs. Exhale. Forward your arms and lift them up. And then twisting the hands to a general bind. And relax the shoulders down. Just breathe. As you inhale, what lifts, keep the chest high. Shifting the weight back to your sitting bones. Good. Releasing the hands, breathing in. Rise tall. All right. From here, hands behind us. And then just lightly stretch the chest, lightly push through the hands, opening up the front and relaxing the weight backwards. Now, just a mild extension of the spine from the upper chest. Open it. The collarbones move apart from the center line. And the breastbone, the tops of the chest, rise up. Feel the chest lift. And we exhale. All right, we uncross the legs. And lightly leave your legs. Um, gentle massage here. We're going to rub our legs using our hands, you know, using the muscles of the hamstrings, and then the joints of the knees, the ankles, pointing and flexing your feet um, side to side, abs there. Good. And cross the legs again, and the other leg is on top. Yeah. Uh, we center the body again. All right, breathing in, lacing your hands, stretch. And then here, just draw your arms away from the midline. Right. Releasing the left hand down. Now then adjust. Breathing in, and exhale to a light side stretch. So loosen just a bit. You're breathing in like the breath pierces through the right side of the body inside to the arm bone to the shoulder and relax the side on the exhalation all right back to the midline breathing in and exhale all right lacing your fingers again rise shift your weight back a bit so you feel the front side of the body light but on the exhalation twist the right hand side opening up side to side the neck just to loosen the shoulder Good. remain with the twist breathing in lifting the right hand turn the palm facing down and exhale loosen now every time you inhale allow your arms to relax you can lift and open the spine longer inside and as you exhale, soften the outer body. All right, crossing our right arm. Yeah. Adjusting the hips. Breathe out. Lightly open the throat. On your exhalation, lightly fold the head down. Yeah, feeling the stretch behind the neck. Breathing in, open up, hands legs, and exhale, soften the shoulders. Beautiful. Right hand crossing, breathing in, rising, right, exhale, hands behind you, and then just recover your spine, opening up. Alright, cross the legs. Yeah, pull them again. And we rub the legs. Yeah. If you need to hold the forward bend longer, loosen the calves, you know, the knee joints. When you practice um, meditation, you want your you know, mind relaxed. You don't want to be doing intense asana. Just to open the body would be enough. Right, from here, cross the right leg under, and the left knee is on top. 
right, breathing in, a light side stretch as you spiral the spine pull up, and then bind the arm in front, and twist to the left hand side. And easy Ardha Machandasana. Just energize the spine. And keep your chest literally open. You don't fight it, don't squeeze it. Good for decompressing the low back. For the flexibility of our knee joints, our shoulders. Releasing, exhale, now across the legs, over them again. Now keep your right leg open. Yeah. Fold the left knee, so the heel, yeah. pressing against the right and inner, inner leg. Yeah. Inhale to rise. But exhale, listen here. As you reach forward halfway, inhale. And as you fold over the leg, exhale. You don't have to fold completely down, maybe just a half fold, or you can keep your hands to the floor. Just adjust your right thigh going back as you rotate your inner half inward and the left side lightly to the floor. And then press pull back a bit. The variation of the Mahmoud Brown. That's so good. And uh, awakening the um, the bandhas, the inner core support, especially of the uh, Udiyana bandha. Uh, breathing in, rise the body up, and exhale. Uh, next to the front again. Yeah. And we do a leg massages once more. Huh? You might lightly hold the forward bend longer and then stretch the chest. Uh, random stretches here, so do what feels good for your spine to have. Right. Change it, yeah. left leg under, right on top. Breathing in, bind, exhale, opening up, inhale, and exhale to the twist. You might turn the head, twist the back. Keep both hips and relax on the floor. And the spine open, alert, but not tight. One more conscious breath in, let the spine move high and pull up. And exhale. Allow your spine to turn a little bit deeper. And crossing. Inhale, exhale, release. Right, shake the legs forward. Right leg bends. Heel to inner thigh. Thigh against the foot. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, inhale forward. Exhale to fold. As you pull back lightly, yeah, that's inhalation. You may retain the inhalation for a couple of seconds inside. Like inhale, pull back, and stay. Two, one, exhale. And you can do that, or you can just breathe normally here. When you retain the inhalation, you allow the nadis to absorb uh, more energy out of the breath. If you are doing kumbhakas, you can do your attention down breath. Or generally, just your natural breath. Right, to release, exhale, loosen down. Inhale, forward and up. And exhale. Right, legs to the front once more. Right. And forward and backwards. Yeah, flexing and pointing. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale. And then to sit tall. Right. Side to side the hips. Yeah. Yeah. Next time, now yeah, back bends. Alright. Kneeling. 
knees about hip width distance. Right. Feet hip width distance as well. Right. Breathing in, rise the arms, open the spine, let the ankles so you can see. Right. Supported one, yeah, your hands support the low back. Now use the hands to move the low back higher and exhale, soften. Right, don't bend at the knees. If you want your knees aligned with your hips, you're lifting the other spine. Right, keep moving your low back low. And if you mind, release the hand one at a time. Right. Push firmly through the fingertips. Inhale, open up, and the other hand too. And that was Tvasana. Yeah, if this is heavy, just yeah. Right. Right. Keep pushing through the knees. Open up the chest. Relax the shoulders back. And you like you can lightly hang the head backwards. Right, next inhale, push through the knees. You may support using the hands, lifting the lower belly in and out. Inhale, and we exhale. Right. You may walk the knees here so you can relax the hips. Right. And from here, yeah, hips to the heels, exhaling. All right, elbows down the floor. Right. Hands together and fold the head and just folding the hands behind your neck. Right, keep your elbows moving forward so you lengthen the side body and then just the hips so the low back you know, can rest. Release the hands forward, open up. Right, let's do one more back bends. Right, knees head width. You may place your hands in front of the chest, push down through the knees, grow in and up, open up the upper spine. Either hands to your low back, you know, or hands to your heels behind you. Open up. Yeah. Back bends are so powerful in opening the energetic channels inside the spine. Yeah, so the energy can flow freely yeah, to nourish our nervous system. Right, release, push down through your knees, grow up the tummy. Right. You may support using the hands, exhale, and cover the spine. Right. You can walk the knees there. Right. Right. Exhale, pull the hips down. Right. Take one recovery breath here. Right. And we fold our bodies. Over our thighs, elbows down, yeah. moving the elbows longer, yeah. and inhale the hips back, and exhale, relax the head to the ground. Up, all right, rest the hands forward, opening up, and then just adjust the knees, exhale. All right, let's do a downward dog and just to restore our whole system. All right, hands press to the, to the front, hips rise, and we exhale, the head lower than the heart. And in here, feel free to turn over the heels. Yeah. Adjust the hands. 
and nourish both sides with the conscious breath in and then lengthen the side body by pushing through our hands and come back to kneel just release the hips and we cross your legs again so the body is now open and the spine is now open we will now release the energetic blockages clogging our nostrils yeah let's do kapalabhati for example kapalabhati pranayam is not for you you can do not not the shoulder not instead yeah? so take a look at my tutorials for the Nadi Shodhana and the Kapilabhati breath. So you are guided of the techniques as well as the precaution and the energetic significance of this method. So let's do the Sapphire, yeah. sitting tall. All right, let's do three rounds of 10. Yeah. 10 non-stop shallow breaths. Yeah. Or if you practice on your own and you can do more, you can do that. But for this lesson, let's just do 10. I'm breathing in, breathing out. Uh, round one, inhale, clip the top of the breath. Clip, exhale. And then take one or two recovery breaths. Second round, breathing in, breathing out. And then breathing in, let the top. Clip, and exhale. Actually, 10 is too yeah, short, so let's do 20 for the next two rounds. Round three, preparatory breath in. Releasing breath out, breathing in, clip the top, and exhale. Uh, 20 is just right now. Yeah? Recovery breath, last set, full breath in. Full breath out. Last round, breathing in. Retain the top. And we exhale. Recover the breath. Yeah. And for example, you feel this more. Yeah. Remaining blockages there, you can do more rounds. Yeah. And before we close, yeah, let's just practice a moment of stillness and silence. Feeling your body yeah, so nourished and open. Look inside your nervous system, your head. Yes. Happy, clear minds, and then feel the heart. Yeah, content, accomplished. Grounded, peaceful. Next breath, the left arms again. Spreading the hands, spreading the fingers, and energetically lengthen, thumbs facing up. Inhaling, and exhale. Let's do this one more time. Breathing in nice and lift the down. And stay five, four, three, two, one. Breathe higher, and exhale. And the hands together, rest them against our chest. 
Let your breath with the heart through the chest opening. And you exhale, we fold over our hearts. Thank you for joining me. If you're doing your stillness after this, practice as long as you have the time, as long as you need it. Uh, till the next time, namaste.